Hi, good day everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss the human population and urbanization. I will first share with you its subtopics. It is human population growth and factors influencing the size of human population. But first of all, let's find out the learning objectives that students can learn after this discussion. At the end of this lesson, students will be able to define the human population and urbanization. Students will be able to learn about the world's population and will be able to understand what factors can influence the size of the human population. And now, let's begin discussing the topic. So what is human population? So human population refers to the number of people living in a particular area from a village to the world as a whole. So to make it short and easy to understand, the human population means the number of humans currently living. Population means the number of people living in a country, city, or area. And in most uses, population means numbers. Therefore, all of the people you encounter each day everywhere are part of your population. According to what I have researched, around the year zero, Earth's population is estimated to have been 192 million. A thousand years later, it was probably around at 250 million. The Industrial Revolution happened and human population went into overdrive. It took hundreds of thousands of years for humans to hit the 1 billion mark in 1800. Before we talk more about the human population, let's discuss first what is urbanization. So urbanization is the process by which rural communities grow to form cities or urban centers, and by extension, the growth and expansions of those cities. Urbanization refers to the population shift from rural to urban areas, the corresponding decrease in the proportion of people living in rural areas and the ways in which societies adapt to this change. Urban means a city and urbanization means industrialization. Urbanization is the process through which cities grow and higher and higher percentages of the population comes to live in the city. Today, some 55% of the world's population, or 4.2 billion inhabitants, live in cities, and some 45% live in rural areas. Human Population Growth People growth is the increase of the number of people in a population. For most of human history, our population size was relatively stable, but with innovation and industrialization, Energy, food, water, and medical care became more available and reliable. 10,000 years ago, before the invention of agriculture, human population was only a few million people worldwide. Human population was growing at a very slow speed, but in 1800, the number of people increased to 1 billion. After the invention of agriculture, with increases in technology and medical advances, the human population was able to reach 3 billion in the 1960s. Consequently, global human population rapidly increased and continues to do so, with dramatic impacts on global climate and ecosystems. In this slide, I am going to show you the global human population from the year 1000 to 2020 using this chart. Human population has increased by 390 million since the year 1000, and 1200, 393 million people were living. In 1400, there were 390 million people, which decreased 3 million. In 1600, it surpassed 544 million population. In 1800, the human population grew to 1 billion people in only 2 years. In 2000, the world's population has reached 6,063,333,800 individuals. And in 2020, 
the total population of people is 7 billion 794 million 798,739. Because of the Industrial Revolution, human population growth has increased tremendously and continues to do so. Let's take a look at the world's five most populous countries in 2020. With a population of 1,439,323,776, China is the world's most populous country, representing for 18.47% of global population share. India, with a population of 1,380,004,385 people, and 17.70% of the global population is the second most populous country. United States is the third with a population of 331,002,651 with 4.45% world share. Indonesia comes in fourth place with a population of 273,523,615 people and a global share of 3.51%. Pakistan, with 220,892,340 people and 2.83% of the global population, is the fifth country to enter the top five most populous countries in 2020. Our country, which is the Philippines, is ranked 13th with the largest population in the world in 2020. The human population in the country reached 190,581,078 and has a 1.41% share in the world. As of Saturday, April 16, 2022, the current population of the Philippines is 112,181,693. Global human population growth amounts to around 83 million annually or 1.1 percent per year today there are over 7.9 billion people on earth the global population has grown from 1 billion in 1800 to 7.9 billion in 2020. what are the factors influencing size of human population in order to better understand the size of the human population, we need to understand the reasons why the size of the population sometimes increases and decreases. And these are the two types of size, the increased population size and decreased population size. The birth rate and immigration are two factors that contribute to the expansion or increase of the human population. The death rate and immigration are two factors that contribute to population decrease. In increased population size, birth rate is the ratio between the number of live-born birth in the year and the average total population of that year. Emigration is the process through which individuals become permanent residents or citizens of another country. Population gain individuals through births and immigration. In decreased population size, Death rate means the ratio of heads to the population of a particular area or during a particular period of time, usually calculated as the number of deaths per 1,000 people per year. Emigration is the relocation of process of people leaving one country to reside in another. They lost individuals through deaths and emigration. If in our country, the birth to death ratio is 5 to 2, or in other words, every 5 people born, 2 people die, the human population size in our country will increase. If the birth rate is larger than the death rate, then the population grows. And if our country's death to birth ratio is 5 to 2, or every 5 people die, 2 people are born, our country's human population will decrease. If the death rate is larger than the birth rate, the population size will decrease. And now, let's talk about immigration and immigration. 
Immigration is the movement of individual into population from other areas. This increases in the population size and growth rate. The second way why individuals are added to the population is through immigration. This is the permanent arrival of new individuals into the population. These individuals are of the same species as the rest of the population, and they increase the size of the population as they join the group. Immigration is the movement of individuals out of the population. This decreases the population size and growth rate. Immigration is the permanent of movement of individuals out of a population. This may be child who are heading out on their own, or it may be adults leaving the group for some other reasons, such as overcrowding or searching for new areas of food and shelter. And that concludes my report. Hopefully, you gained some knowledge from this video. Thanks for listening. Have a good day ahead, everyone.